Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with using windowshomeserver.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to locate and download an ISO image from Microsoft to create a CD for doing a PC restore from your Windows Home Server version 1. Let's get started, shall we? We need to download the file from Microsoft. To find the link, double click on Shared Folders, double click on Software, find the folder that says Home PC Restore CD, and double click on the README file. Now, if you have any ISOs in here, they probably are outdated, as the file says. So what we're going to do is copy this link. Copy the link, close the windows out, and then open it, Internet Explorer. Paste in the link, and you'll see it takes you to Microsoft's Download Center. Now you have two options. You can either download the file and run it directly, or you can download the file and save. I would suggest downloading and saving the file so you actually have the MSI file available, and then you can copy that to the computer or to the system that's going to be making your DVD. Click on Download. Click on Save. I'm going to save to my desktop. You can see it's not an ISO right now. It's a Windows installer package. It'll make the ISO once it's on the computer that you want to run it on. We'll click on Save and we'll be right back. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and we're just about finished. One of the things that I'm going to do is close out my browser window and you see now that I have the Restore CD. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually put it in that folder so I don't have to download it again later on. So double click on Software, Home PC Restore CD, and just drag the file or copy and paste it. So I have gigabits, so it goes pretty quick. And now that's on there. Now what we'll do is we'll go out to the computer that I'm going to install the dual boot on, and we'll go from there. Okay, now that we have our Restore CD MSI file, all we need to do is double click on it. It'll allow us now to set up the Restore CD. Click on Next. Click on I Accept the Terms. Click on Next. And click on Install. It'll now go through the process. It will take a couple of minutes. Now that it is finished, click on Finish, and you'll see that there's the README file that the website talked about. This now shows us how to burn the ISO to a CD. As we continue on, you can see that it shows us the path. So we click on My Documents, and you can see here is our ISO image. I will right mouse click to verify that it is an ISO image, and we're ready to go. I just popped in my CD. I'm going to be using Roxio to create the ISO image. So what I'm going to do is wait for Roxio to come up. I'll allow Roxio to open up and then we'll use the copy and we'll burn disk image to disk. I'll click on browse you can see it goes right to My Documents and finds the folder. You may have to look around, but you will find it. Click on Add, and then click on Record. This will take a little while. It won't take as long as it says, but it will take a little while, and then we'll be right back and show you the end result. Okay, just that fast, we're done. It only took a few minutes. We'll click on Done. We'll close everything out. Okay, it just now finished up and spit out the disk. We'll put the disk back in to verify it before we run this to the new system and perform the restore. Okay, it brings everything up. You can see here it brings up the client restore instructions and tells us how to do it. Now, of course, we already know what we're going to do, but again, we're just verifying that everything burnt on to the drive. And there you go. Everything's good to go. Check out some of our other videos on using windowshomeserver.com and see how Windows Home Server can make your life easier.